And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Goldendale, Washington, USA, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. All right, bring through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for You ready? You ready? Let's go all right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Nice punch lands over the top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him drive his shit into his own body with that body kick. Hands high, hands high. Oh, big elbow. See if he can 
can finish. Oh, big elbow. Oh, straight right. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Punch over the top. Nice jab. Follows it up with a nice right hand. And he landed the right hand there. Comes in close. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight for both fighting stances. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Like a taller fighter lands a flush knee. Blocks the shot. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, single collar tie now. And now he's got the tie clinch. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Two minutes now to go. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. Punch there by Lee. Not there. Hands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a purse very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice. Spinning back fish is there. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. 30 seconds to go on the round. from that round, he went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Right now. And the 
left kick there with conviction. Huge leg kick there. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent he's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Nice punch land. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big kick land. Oh, nice. Nice. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, blocks the shot. Strike lands there, DC. He landed that fast shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. And they separate. Big kick. Lands the right hand. Connects now with the one-two. Just misses there with the left. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice kick. Misses with a left hook there. Nice, sneaky head kick. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Final seconds here of round two. Head kick. Nice straight punch. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. 
That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Punch is blocked. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Blocks the shot. Whipped his hip into that kick. Big head kick lands. Oh, buckle in there. Beautiful shot to the body. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, that's a nice strike. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. There's no tell with that leg kick. That was a cutting leg kick. Shot to the body is blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Way to hide that leg kick. What a punch. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Oh, beautiful knee to the body high in there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. That whole kick, yep. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, nice up cut there. Able to check the high kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Let's go. Set up that takedown. Just missing on the uppercut there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, body kick is out here. It's no shot. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Try to establish that jab. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Ooh, 
Big shot land. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice strike. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Straight punch lands. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Great punch landed with so much power. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh! Big knee. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Ooh, what a punch. him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Looks like he clipped him with a left-hand counter there. Oh, collar tie. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Under two minutes to go in the round. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh! Wow! He's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Under one minute remains in round four. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, start, he'll change his stance. 
Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Right punches there. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. and that's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storr. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Real quick leg kick. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in something. Nice loop and punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice leg kick. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Real nice body movement. Man, strike. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Lee's has got full mount now. Oh, he got a bad. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice body kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job. Oh. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's going after the head. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.